is it good for underwriting and claims? Can you give us a general overview? Sure. So let's first start with claims. So claims examiner has a hard job, right? <laughs> claims examiner has to determine what is the best way that a particular liability claim is handled. Which attorney should I use? What rate should I negotiate? What is the ability that I can handle this claim in a way that is best for my insured as well as consistent with my obligations to my employer? This is hard stuff. Prior to the premonition database, most of the time was spent in negotiating rates. You would want to create a panel counsel, you would negotiate the lowest volume discount you can get, and you really didn't have an ability to determine which law firms to hire because everybody said the same thing. They all said I had X number of lawyers, Y number of partners, I'm in Z number of jurisdictions, um, and I might talk about a case that I won five, ten years ago. It was similar to how scouts determined who to, to hire as a baseball player. It was more of an art. Now, for those of you that remember or watched the movie Moneyball, you, real, you remember how all that changed. And that starting with Moneyball, the selection of baseball players was done by a scientific method, a formula that looked at combinations, third baseman, first baseman, second baseman, right fielder, etc. The combination that was most likely to win. Premonition takes that concept and applies it to litigation and the selection of outside counsel. So by creating an algorithm that determines win rates for various attorneys operating within the same level playing field, it allows the claims department to lower the loss ratio by picking the right attorneys, lower your expense ratio by now knowing the duration of the case per attorney so understanding not simply the rate, but the rate times the, the likely number of hours unknown prior to premonition, as well as other things that are described in the claims portion of the website. Now, in terms of underwriting, knowing whether your applicant is, uh, has a litigation against him, her, or it, or brings litigation against others, is critical to any sort of underwriting of liability insurance. But again, prior to premonition, the poor liability underwriter only knew what was on the application. And if they were lucky, they might know about claims in the particular exposure. So a lawyer's professional, they might know how many mal legal malpractice claims if they got a uh, warranty or if it was a main form app. But they wouldn't know anything else. They wouldn't know whether the uh, individual is subject to criminal actions, the individual is in the middle of a divorce, the individual had credit uh, litigation, or anything else that was important. So the premonition database can allow the liability underwriter to know what litigation has been made against the applicant as well as what litigation the applicant has made against the others. Now that's in general. Then you take specific fields like lawyers' professional liability, knowing the win rate of your applicant, really important to lawyers' professional liability, small business D&O, small, small E&O. Prior to the premonition database, the poor underwriter only had what he had with the application. Now, thanks to the premonition database and its proprietary algorithm, that underwriter is now armed with more information than they ever had before in order to make data-based underwriting decisions that simply was not possible prior.